السلام عليكم ورحمة الله دكتور خليل السالم معاكم إن شاء الله اليوم سنتحدث عن سلت لامب Okay, we're going to talk about the slit lamp. The slit lamp is defined as a biomicroscope. What do you mean by microscope? Biomicroscope is a is a microscope on living tissue, on living subjects. So, uh, as all microscopes, they have an ocular part and they have a uh, objective part. So, uh, this is the um, ocular part of the direct ophthalmoscope this is the objective lens and the objective lens can be changed to 10 diopters uh, 16 diopters or even more up to 40 diopters okay now the ocular part is fixed around 10 diopters maybe 10x and you really can't uh, do more um, regarding that now magnification is also dependent on the uh, ocular part and the objective part that you are using uh, so uh, and you just divide that on okay so you can for example uh, magnify the things 10 times 16 times or even uh, 40 times magnification there are some nice uh, let's say uh, um, add-on pieces that comes with the slit lamp one of them is this machine this machine is called the um, uh, Goldman tonometry. Okay, we will have a separate discussion on that. And um, uh, you can have something called handheld lenses. These are small lenses. Uh, this is a 90 lens. So, handheld lenses are used uh, to visualize the back of the eye, uh, mainly the optic nerve and uh, the retina. So uh, let's talk about the elimination system of this slit lamp. The most important uh, elimination system, or let's say the uh, it's only a single elimination system, which is the light source, which comes from this area here. Okay. So as you know, that light always diverge. Okay. So how we can concentrate the light in one parallel, uh, let's say, ray? Uh, you can't do that unless you have a polarized light. So in order to polarize light, you need the light either to come out of a mirror, which is the case here. We have a very small mirror at this area, or you can uh, convert the light into laser. Uh, so uh, just to be simple, uh, if you have a source of light just hitting a mirror, then uh, it will go in parallel rays. It will it will go in one line, which is um, very uh, helpful for us in order to visualize the segments of the uh, structures of the cornea, the iris, the lens, and even the back of the eye. Okay. Um, <clears throat> now uh, you ask the patient to put his chin over here. This is how, where he puts the shell. And this is the plastic shell where he puts uh, or forces his forehead and this is uh, a piece which is used to uh, you know grab uh, the patients grab these in order to uh, you know not move here and there while examining so we have uh, our madam here she will demonstrate this for us will you please put your chin over here thank you so much and force your head now this is the correct positioning of the patient it's very important while positioning uh, you know, while you're positioning the uh, patient, you have to uh, uh, put the uh, eye at a certain mark, which is the black mark at uh, the um, upper part of the um, uh, slit lamp bar. Okay, this is where you put the eye. Okay, and then you open the uh, slit lamp and try to check the anterior segment. Will you please look in front? Okay. So you go and check the uh, right and the left eye. And here you go. Okay, thank you so much. Okay. Um, there are five types of elimination that you can control uh, the uh, direct ophthalmoscopy um, 
that you can control the uh, that you can control within the direct ophthalmoscope. The first is the diffuse illumination, where you just um, open the uh, light source at full. We have segmental illumination, uh, where you have um, you are visualizing a segment of the cornea by sh by narrowing the illumination, and you have something called retro illumination, where you are. Uh, 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 shining the light on the eye and then you observe the reflection and uh, you have something called scatter scatter where you are putting the light at the angle of the eye and then you are observing the, refra the reflected light from the uh, iris uh, on the uh, posterior part uh, you know on, on the uh, posterior part of the eye uh, and this really concludes most of the important things that you have to know about uh, the slit lamp exam. Please uh, write down in the comments if you have uh, any question. I'll be more than happy to help you with it. Uh, please stay with me for the next session. In the next session, we will talk about the uh, how to use uh, Goldman tonometer. Thank you.